This weekend is WrestleMania 32. Yes, I can't wait. <laughs> Undertaker at Wrestlemania 32 in Dallas Texas which is going to be happening um, on Sunday but in England it will be happening on in Monday morning so I'm hoping to bring you footage of me watching the watching the event live on telly I might not be able to but I'm gonna try my best um, I don't know why I've got these belts but yeah this is what um, Roman Reigns would will be fighting for against Triple H and the WWE World Heavyweight Championship and he's got absolutely everything against him because he's fighting against the CEO of the company and someone that hates him. Triple H hates the guts out of this guy which I sort of feel quite sorry for um, Roman Reigns because he he really does live and breathe the business because he comes from the Samoan family, don't know if that's the correct pronunciation, but anyway, and they're a big wrestling family. But that's not what we're here to talk about. Today we're here to talk about the fight between Shane McMahon, I've got a picture here, Shane McMahon and The Undertaker. I will find a picture of The Undertaker in my encyclopedia, but not at the moment, because that's just going to take way too long. So, I don't have too much information on me. I know there's tons and tons of information out there but I'm just gonna give you what I know okay so Shane McMahon the son of the owner chairman of the WWE Vince McMahon I feel so so sorry for this guy as it oh, as it says in here uh, most individuals would collapse under the pressure of being the son of a famous father ie Vince McMahon um, oh. Vince McMahon hates him just hates him um, but first, before I get into all of this, let me tell you what's at stake. So, Shane McMahon just wants to own um, the Raw, which, if you don't know, is one of WWE's biggest shows, um, weekly uh, television shows. So, he wants that, and, but he has to battle The Undertaker in Hell in a Cell. And to be honest, Hell in a Cell is The Undertaker's yard. Undertaker thrives in Hell in a Cell, and I've seen some of his matches in Hell in a Cell. They are absolutely amazing. If you can, if you get the opportunity, watch some of his um, Hell in a Cell matches. They are a spectacle. They're absolutely amazing. But so if Shane McMahon beats The Undertaker, um, Shane McMahon will get control of Raw. So he'd probably be the general manager. I don't know, but he's going to make huge changes in the WWE, which everybody wants. Get rid of the authority. They are a pain. I absolutely hate them. Can't stand them. But the problem is, if Shane McMahon wins, Undertaker loses. And if Undertaker loses, it will be his last WrestleMania. And I know two years ago at WrestleMania 30 in New Orleans, Brock Lesnar sadly defeated the streak. And but he but. We just love seeing Undertaker at WrestleMania. It's the one thing, one time, we get to see Undertaker. Possibly at SummerSlam. Don't know. He's 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 getting older, so it probably will just be WrestleMania. But as I think, 
um, Undertaker comes from Texas. I don't know, I'm probably not going to put that in because I'm not 100% sure. He wants to pro probably finish it in front of his, in his, in his hometown. Um, I, I really don't want The Undertaker's career to end, but if we're, if we're really thinking about it, it, it's probably going to because he's, he's, he's getting on and it, we don't want to cause him too much pain. But that would be a huge, huge loss to the WWE if Undertaker, if Undertaker lost. Um, and also a huge shock on the um, WWE universe because um, it was it was horrible when um, Brock Lesnar um, beat the streak. It was just oh, it was a WWE fans' absolute nightmare. Um, I was watching it live and um, yeah, I cried. Um, I know that sounds pathetic, but if you're a true WWE fan and you've looked into the history, he's just been such. He's just been so amazing, a pioneer of his generation of wrestling, and WWE honestly wouldn't be where they are without him. So, I really, really don't know, um, I don't know who I want to win, I'd, I'd be fine either way, because I can't stand the authority, and as I quote from what Shane McMahon says, Vince McMahon is losing touch with his fans, which I've been seeing, I've, I've been um, looking at Raw recently, and he's got a point. Vince McMahon has no clue what he's doing. He's, well, okay, I'll take that back. He does, but he's losing touch with the younger generation. And th this is topic for another video, the PG era. I'm not even gonna go into that because that'll probably that'll be a, a really, really long video in itself. But he's just losing touch. Um, so I wouldn't mind if Shane McMahon won because I would like to see him in charge of Raw. It would definitely, definitely boost it up and hopefully get the ratings going up again because I think they've dropped ever so slightly. Not much, but they've dropped a bit. Um, but I really, really want The Undertaker to win because he's just a legend. He's a wrestling legend and it would be a real shame to lose him. But as... I think this is his hometown. I think it. I think our nightmare is going to happen. I think Undertaker will retire. But it would be. It would be. It would be really good. Um. I don't. Uh, predictions. I don't know. I really want to give you some predictions, but I don't know if I'll be able to to get it accurate enough because I haven't got all the information I need. But anyway, so. I think it could go either way. It's a really, really unpredictable match because the build-up has been absolutely fantastic to it. But, um, right, let's do this. Undertaker is Vince McMahon's best friend. So, supposing it wasn't in Texas and they were doing Texas next year, I would be pretty sure Undertaker would probably win. And also, because Vince McMahon absolutely hates Shane, um, oh, sorry, <laughs> that's just put me off. Anyway, where was I? There I was. Vince McMahon hates Shane McMahon. I don't know if this is just um, storyline to build up the build up the heat for um, WrestleMania. I don't know. It could be, but if it is true, I don't think Vince McMahon's going to want Shane in charge of Raw. Because Raw is basically what is it's the main show of WWE really, um, weekly. Um, much bigger than main event SmackDown. Even though SmackDown's good, but I think Raw is definitely the best, it has the most action. So my honest, honest prediction, I don't want to say this, but it's hard. I think I'm probably gonna have to go with Shane winning. I really really want Undertaker to stay on but I don't think he can I don't think he can I was watching I think I was watching the what culture um, one of the what culture videos um, uh, yeah it probably was um, about the, the streak being defeated and how the Undertaker wanted to use the streak the momentum he would built the 20 odd year um, streak, WrestleMania streak. He wanted to use that to give to a really good young, young superstar to boost his, um, boost his fame and boost his chances. 
Um, I think Rand York, it was originally going to be Rand York. I don't hold me on it. But that didn't go ahead. So Brock Lesnar, but Brock Lesnar, he, he really did, really did put up a fight for it. And again, you'll probably be in tears at the end of the match, but I really would recommend um, going and checking that one out. It's probably on YouTube somewhere, but if not, you, you can probably download it on, the, on iTunes or just buy the DVD of WrestleMania. That's, that's what I'd go for, because then you've got the whole show and you can watch it as many times as you want. Um, yeah, I th I think I think this is gonna be gonna take us last. Really don't want to, but again, uh, referring to what what culture, uh, there'll be a link to their channel in the description. Um, it's it's he's getting he's getting he's getting old, and I really I I, th I think it's gonna be the, be the end for him. But anyway. Uh, we'll see what happens on uh, Sunday for Americans, which is actually because it's happening on Sunday. And but for for um, the English fans who are going to be watching it live on Sky Sports, it's going to be 12 a.m. on Monday. So um, yeah, I'm really excited. Um, we'll find out what's going to happen. What's going to happen then? Um, my heart's pounding. I my heart's really set on Undertaker winning, but I don't, I don't think it's going to be. Um, remember to join the onesie nation please like comment and subscribe and remember please use hashtag join the onesie nation on all social media apart from facebook um and yeah thanks for watching 